OK, let's have a look at building our simple data entry screen. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick a title in uh, for our worksheet and we're going to call it data entry screen. And let's just merge and center that. Uh, let's have it in green because uh, green's nice. I like that green. Let's have it bold and increase the font size. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, um, take a look at course one uh, because we, we, we cover that fully in course one on all the different formattings for text and merge and center and all stuff like that. OK, so uh, we need a few gaps in here. So let's insert some lines. And the first thing we're going to need is the week ending date. So let's just say week ending and we're going to be entering that in there. Now, what I like to do is um, is to format the cells into a different color, for, particularly for data entry screens, uh, because that is an indicator to the user of which cells it is they should be filling in. Now, we can look at a little later how you can lock all the other cells so they can't actually fill anything in that you don't want them to. But for now, let's just enter a, a simple data entry with a format. So there we go. We want people to enter stuff in there. Uh, we need Assuming our week starts on Monday, we need Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we can delete the rest of it because there are only seven days in a week. Now let's uh, insert a little more. Now from the timesheet that we're populating, we can have a look at what entries we actually need to to have the user enter into here. So let's just bring it up on the screen here and we can see what we want to do. So we need a start time in the morning. So we're going to put something in here. We need a start time in the afternoon. Sorry, we need a finish in the morning. Uh, we need uh, a lunch, but we're going to calculate that. So what we then need is a start time in the afternoon and we need a finish time in the afternoon and pretty much everything else we can calculate out. So let's just stick some headings in there. So we have start and we have finish um, and let's just copy those stick them over there again if you if you're not sure about the copying and pasting check out level one of this course because uh, we cover all of the basics in there so what we're going to do is we're just going to center the text over there so we can see that that's start and that's finish center the text over there and we're going to have this merged and centers and we'll call that working hours OK, so there you go. We've got a uh, quite uh, that's a little untidy. So let's just delete that. Uh, yeah, that's more uniform. OK, so now we have the basics of a data entry screen. So in here we can see because the cells are in blue, this is where we want the, the users to enter the data. We have a week ending, which corresponds to this box over here. We have our start times on Monday morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which we're going to populate into here. We have our finish time in the morning, which populates over here and our start time in the afternoon and our finish time in the afternoon. OK, Ooh, I forgot something uh, we need also. Uh, insert we need another one over there don't we so we need to say am and let's just copy that dump that in there and call that p oops pm so there you go now we can see that we have our working hours in this area just here this is the morning this is the afternoon uh, this will be our start time morning finish time morning start time in the afternoon finish time in the afternoon Okay, let's have a look at how we enter some data in as time.